Hello, beautiful collective, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, oh man, um, this reading is so good so far, guys. I hope this is going to resonate with you. Um, this reading is for the collective, so it may or may not, it may or may not resonate with you. So just take what does resonate and leave the rest, okay? Um, and thank you, collective. I love you guys. Thank you so much for all of the love, right? Um, the like, subscribes, comment, shares, uh, you know, it's just, it's so helpful. The click of a like button, right? Um, and if you like this vibe, subscribing to the channel, thank you to all of my subscribers. I just love you guys. Thank you for everything that you do, okay, that helps this channel keep growing. I love you. Um, this is great because it's just immediately puts me in a good mood. <laughs> um, I'm seeing you out here winning. Um, oh, boy. There's blessings coming to you, money, stability. I feel like um, this could be a new person here that's going to lead to a commitment, right? Something solid. Um, yeah, all of this is coming towards you really fast. Um, this is a celebration here uh, that you've got going on in your life. Um, with the And the Wheel of Fortune came out um, end of, of a last cycle that was very difficult for you you know you don't get to the empress energy until you've been put through hell seriously i mean you were hurt backstabbed betrayed abandoned made to wait felt like an option broken hearted um talked to like you were nothing kicked while you were down had bad energy sent to you i mean you know what you've been put through it and during that journey, you have acquired the attributes of every queen in the deck, okay? Um, it just kind of marks your journey, right? So let me guess, you gave your love freely, right? Queen of Cups, that's one that you learned. Being ex extremely loving, extremely nurturing to someone or everything, right? Um, and then you were betrayed, Queen of Swords, right? Stuck in the back with the sword, left alone, abandoned. You had to pull that sword out yourself and heal on your own, right? Um, expecting the truth, but I feel like maybe you didn't get the truth. Um, and so you went on to become um, the Queen of Wands energy, just not waiting around for the truth anymore or the clarity or for people to do right by you. Um, not wasting your time with things anymore, being able to get through all of that battle and heartache and betrayal and, and, and start focusing on you, okay? Taking control of your life, getting creative, right? Trans, transmuting and transforming that negative energy into something great for you, which brought you to the Queen of Pentacles, energy right growing something financially stable taking care of you your children your home um the business the finances everything just remaining focused and growing in your own stability you've learned every single queen in the deck and so now you're about to reap your rewards as the new cycle starts i feel like you've learned all the lessons Okay, and now you're upgrading, you're stepping up in your life. It's a time of celebration. Um, yeah, I'm really, and look, I'm goosebumps, okay? It's a time of celebration for you, and you may not realize it because this here, this Empress energy, I'm feeling like a soul journey here, but all of this is coming to you, okay? It's, it's at the turn of the wheel, um, which I'm feeling is the central focus here, a new beginning. All of these blessings start coming to you. This is money, okay? Stability. Um, a, a new person. You guys know me. A lot of times I see this as a new, uh, somebody new coming in that's going to lead to commitment only because I can't see his face. We haven't met him yet, right? Um, but this person, you know, we've got the emperor here. This is going to be an emperor. And just like the empress, this is someone who's also been through it and has learned every king in the deck, has acquired um, all the attri attributes of every, every king. So I feel like um, you and this person that's coming in, this is, I feel like you haven't met this person yet. This is going to be someone new. 
Um, this is somebody you can build with. I mean, the Empress and, and Emperor together, that's a power couple. You're both going to be able to build empires because you're both going to utilize all the attributes of, of the kings and queens. Everything that you've learned on this journey. Um, and you're tough as nails here because you've been through it. Okay, so this is a bond I feel that is coming in that isn't going to be broken. Um, yeah, I feel like this is going to be like you, um, a new person that comes in that's going to lead to a solid commitment. Um, yeah, because you're standing in your strength at the turn of this wheel. This is like I always see this as like a metal door. Okay, the this metal door is closing on the past okay and and what lies before it is a whole new chapter um a whole new way of life all right it's i i feel like all of this coming at you really fast is 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 gonna kind of it's gonna blow your mind but you're gonna be solid in it because you're solid in your faith you're solid in your strength um, you've, you've stood up for yourself, you've stood your ground, you've made your final decisions to kind of lock out the past so that you can have a new beginning. You've stood in your strength, your boundaries, and your integrity. And you handled your journey like um, a very strong Princess Diana, okay? That's, I always see her as like a Princess Diana. Um, so yeah, you're cutting out the past, you're protecting yourself right now. I feel like um, you're just kind of doo doo doing your own thing. You don't see this emperor entering into the picture, okay? And um, you're already celebrating your life. Um, yeah, I feel like you have somebody new coming towards you. This is gorgeous so far. What else can you tell us, Divine? I hope this is resonating with you. Um, you could be a Leo, Gemini. Um, this person could be a Taurus, Aries. Not necessarily, though. Okay. Yeah, look at you. You're nurturing. You put all that nurturing ability, right? When, when you had your heart broken because you gave your love to others that didn't see your value, you took that cup of love, right? and you poured it over whatever it is that you're growing, all right? All of that nurturing, all that intuition, right? Um, putting forth all the effort into you. This is because of all the work you put in. I feel like you're not even focused on love right now because you're, you're, you're growing something for yourself. You're working really hard. Um, you're focused on whatever it is, um, whatever project creatively. This is a creative project that you've nurtured from the ground up. You're receiving messages from the divine as well. So you're being spiritually led. You had to be through this journey, right, to reach the Empress throne. Um, so you're really focused on you. You're kind of protecting your heart here, cutting things out from the past that no longer serves you. Um, yeah, but when you're not focused on love and you're focused on being busy, this is a very busy person, a very hard worker, um, just wanting to grow the stability, right? Watch your stability keep growing, right? Receiving messages from the divine. I feel like that's when this new person comes in, is when you're not focused on love. And it doesn't look like you're focused on love. It looks like you're protecting your heart. Um, yeah, you're, <laughs> you're leveling up here, I'm telling you. But this is when love comes in. This is when love comes in. Um, yeah, you're ending a cycle for sure. And I, I feel like you've put in so much effort into you and whatever it is you're growing. You're going to be extremely abundant here very abundant you're very intuitive very well balanced you're not over emotional you've healed right these two shiny little batons that tells me that you've healed and you've got your life in balance okay there's a balance between um just remaining still uh meditating getting rest perhaps 
and a lot of work, right? I feel like you've got that balance going on. You're in the public eye, maybe. Um, you could even be making a house move. I mean, you're leveling up here all, all over your life. Um, and people are seeing it. You're beautiful. Um, absolutely stunningly gorgeous. So whoever I'm talking, like this crowd here, man, this... Um, this soul tribe is just filled with beautiful, gorgeous people. I'm telling you, you probably have never looked better, no matter how old or young you are. There's, there's a lot to this journey through self-care and self-love, and um, you've changed, you know? You've changed a lot on this journey, and you're ready to start something new. And I feel like... I'm seeing nothing but wonderful things coming to you here so far. Yeah, you're going to get this offer. Somebody, you're going to meet somebody. And I feel like this is this emperor. Um, this is going to be, somebody is going to reach out and, and want to talk to you, want to get to know you. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't want to get to know you? I mean, look at you. Your energy is amazing. Um... Yeah, you're going to hear from somebody here. You're going to meet somebody, um, and it's going to start off slow. This is somebody who's going to be very polite. They're going to want to take their time and get to know you, and I feel like it's this emperor. Yeah, and, uh, you know, depending on how it goes and what your choices are, because we all have free will, but um, this emperor coming towards you is somebody that... Um, you can build something solid here with. Yeah, you're no longer stuck and trapped in your mind about things. Um, I feel like you're releasing, you're letting go, and you're you're looking forward to meeting new people now. Okay? Um, yeah, putting some things to rest here. I, I feel like there's someone else out there as well who is out in the cold watching you move forward, right? Wanting to take some kind of action towards you. Um, wanting to put all this heartache to rest. I feel like this is somebody who could have used you, schmoozed you. This is someone who could be extremely attractive. Um, really good at utilizing every tool they've got to get what they want, okay? Um, this is someone who goes after what they want with a passion, a possible fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, this is somebody who's a very smooth talker, okay? Um, yeah, and I feel like this they put you in a third party. This is where all of this started. I feel like this was possibly your trigger person, right? Um yeah, and now they're out in the cold. They want to put this to rest here. I feel like this person wants to communicate. They're preying on it right now. But I feel like, honestly, collective, I feel like you've already ended this. This cycle is over. You are no longer trapped in this. You're free. You're no longer stuck and trapped in your head. And you're, um, I feel like you're looking forward to meeting new people. And, and some of you can even sense that a new emperor is coming. All of this is coming. This is a wish-fulfilled life. So I feel like you've already made your decision here on this person. Um, and they could have followed someone else out in the cold. This person, yeah, their tower's coming down. They're having tower moment after tower moment here. Completely out in the cold from you. They cannot talk to you. I feel like they can't reach you at this point. Because this door is slammed shut. Okay? Really, it's the end of a cycle. And so they're outside that door, wandering around, maybe with whoever else they chose. Losing money. Lo some of them are losing jobs. Some of these people from your past are um, losing a home. They could be in bad health. I feel like they're, they're getting a tower moment here. Um, that maybe their connection, whoever they chose over you in this third party here, um, they could both be getting tossed out of a home or it could be ending for them. Yeah, there's, I feel like there's no love there. I feel like this person didn't come forward. I feel like they were supposed to come forward and make things right with you. Um, come forward and, and grab their spirituality, right? 
and start moving on it. Um, yeah, they were supposed to apologize. They were supposed to tell you how they feel. That's what the divine wanted, okay? And I feel like they never did. So you blocked them out. You closed the door. You made your decision. You're moving forward. And they're on the other side of the door, okay? Out in the cold. Yeah, this is an offer that never came in. Sorry, this came out in reverse. It's an offer that they um, are, they never shared the truth with you. They never apologized to you. You know, as far as you know, they may not even care about how they hurt you. Um, yeah, they may not even care about how they hurt you, but they're hurt. Heartbreak. This is somebody who broke your heart in a third-party situation, and now their heart is broken because the door's closed. The door's closed on them. And I feel like when you made this decision, you set yourself free, okay? You just wanted to be set free. You set yourself free. You detached so that you could move forward. And I'm telling you, you're, lo you're looking forward to meeting somebody new. You may already be talking to this new person, I feel like, yeah, you know you know someone new is coming in for you. And look, this person on the bottom of the deck, justice, this is the, this is the universe balancing these scales because your person had a chance to balance them before and they didn't. They chose not to. Now that that door is closed, they're feeling that heartbreak. They're feeling that um, they're feeling you detach. Okay, I feel like this is, it's over for this person. This is the universe saying that's your justice for being a fool. And I feel like with the fool card, you know, they're losing something here too. They're going to have to take, they're going to have to start a new journey. I feel eventually they're going to need to start something new because I feel like everybody is with the closing of the cycle. This is, but this is their um, karma, the karmic justice for them not taking a leap of faith. Um, they were foolish in this, and now they're feeling that heartache. You've set yourself free from this. You've released. Yeah, you've got a new person coming forward, I'm telling you, and this person from your past, they've got to stand here and watch. I feel like they're blocked now from coming forward, okay, because they ran out of time. And you cannot keep waiting for this person to do right by you. I don't think you waited for them, but they did have ample time to come towards you. It could have been years, years. And uh, you focused on yourself and built yourself up. You did the right thing. You listened in, to the messages you were given by the divine and you followed instructions. And this person did not. So I feel like they're stuck. They're in spiritual prison. Some of your people could even end up in jail. Okay? But I'm not really feeling that. I'm seeing this as spiritual prison. Like they are blocked and stuck now from coming towards you because you have someone new coming into the picture. And this new person, when you meet them, they're, they're going to know who it is that they want, and they're going to take action towards what they want. And remember what I said about the emperor. They've been through the same kind of journey you have. This is somebody who's coming off of a battlefield, okay, and having a victory just like you're having. All right, so you guys are already matching in energy. It's just, it's going to be all about divine timing, when this person comes in, some of you could already be talking to somebody. Um, yeah, I feel like it's it's going to be all about divine timing. Right now, your focus, I feel like, is not really on love. And I'm telling you, that's when love comes in. And this person from your past, I feel like, since they didn't um, take that leap of faith with you, their karmic justice is to me, they have to watch you move forward now from the other side of the door okay anyway collective that's what I've got for this little reading I hope this helps I hope it resonates with you I really do I this is absolutely beautiful claim this 
as um, as your own, right? Just claim it. I claim this manifestation as my own, right? Because this is beautiful and a definite separation here. Um, so anyway, yeah, if you like this video, please click that like button, guys. Spread the word, right? Um, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you like this vibe and it's resonating with you, right? And until next time, Collective, know that I love you guys. Take care of you and peace out.